Uh, but let's let's dive into this topic. So we're looking at optimization as a way of doing business. And so I want to talk through some of the the laws of optimization that you mm-hmm. give. And I want to unpack these with you. I think this will be super actionable and helpful and hopefully inspirational as well to inspire folks to get out there and optimize their websites as well. Uh, but one of the, the first things you said and talk about in the book is that um, best practices are for beginners. Explain mm-hmm. what that means, please. Well, okay. In optimization, there are so many of these top 10 lists or checklists or you know tricks to do different things to increase your conversion rates. And the problem is that you really need to be creating a culture of research, testing and improvement. And so if you focus just on a list of best practices, it's really not going to get you that far. Um, You really you don't know if it's going to work for your audience. And that's the biggest challenge is brands come to us all the time and say, hey, you know, I, I tried this list that I read and I went through this whole checklist and and it really wasn't a meaningful difference. And in fact, I, maybe it hurt me in some areas. And the problem is, is that consumers aren't, you know, they're, you're, you, they're all unique snowflakes, right? <laughs> and so if you and I both had e-commerce sites and, you know, very, very likely we're going to be selling to different personas. We're going to be selling different products at different price points with different meaningful, um, you know, value to that, that audience. So the problem becomes that if you and I are both trying to do optimize our sites off the same checklist, it's not going to have a very good effect. So unfortunately, you know, all the articles that are out there around optimization, um, 90% of them are, are phrased around quick wins. And they're just, I, I, you know, really wanted to start the book with that law first to set the, the foundation that this is not going to be a checklist and you're done. Yeah. And I intentionally wrote the book about the theories and the things you needed to understand in order to be successful in e-commerce by optimizing your site. And that this isn't a book you're going to pick up and just get a checklist and work your way through it. Um, and this is more about how you should be thinking. And if you apply these philosophies and, and these different points, then you should be successful with your site. Yeah, I love this so much. And, and obviously, we, we love reading those articles and, and finding quick yeah. wins and quick hits. But I'll make an analogy. It's kind of like reading, you know, quick hacks for losing weight or quick hacks mm-hmm. for improving your health. And, you know, of course, there's some things that apply to everybody. Drink more water, exercise, sleep more. But so much of the rest of the health recommendations are very independent on the individual, right? You can't just say, hey, all you have to do is play basketball four times a week. Well, that doesn't apply to everybody, right? Or even food. Like I've really dug deep into to diet recently and, and we have a client that helps with these personalized gut health tests. But here's just a quick side note, fun fact. Broccoli, you know, the, the well-esteemed, mm-hmm. everyone believes broccoli is healthy, is actually a superfood for less than half the population. For a lot of people, broccoli is not easily digested and it actually can prevent the absorption of other nutrients. So anyway, just a little quick little extra tidbit. (laughs) 